Hello everyone, it's Christina and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, you guys, I am going to be doing a favorites when it comes to my hair products. So if you want to see what my favorite hair products were for 2019, then keep watching because I'm going to get started with that right now. Okay, y'all, so this is not going to be an in-depth favorite video. Like, uh, if I, when I do that, I'll do like a week of favorites and just focus on shampoos one day, you know, deep conditioners one day. That's not what I'm going to be doing for this video. For this video, I am basically going to be showing you all products I mainly use right now um, that I fell in love with. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm going to start out with shampoos. And if you have been watching me for a while, then you know my favorite shampoo is Shea Moisture's Manuka Honey and Marfura Oil Intensive Hydration Shampoo. You guys, I love this stuff. This is like one of the most moisturizing shampoos I have ever used um if you can recall when I first started I told you all that I was looking for me a good moisturizing shampoo one that did not strip my hair and this right here does it for me I don't know how it works for others but for me I love this shampoo it gives me moisture and it also does not strip my hair so this right here is my number one all-time favorite shampoo now when it comes to clarifying shampoos i love shea moisture's low porosity protein free shampoo this one right here and i know my lights are bright y'all i'm so sorry this right here is some awesome awesome clarifying shampoo so if you have a lot of product built up on your hair and it's dirty and you just want to get it really really clean this stuff right here it does an amazing job for me this strips my hair you would thought that i did a aztec clay mask because this stuff right here it does a very very good job on my hair um and i love it it actually cleans it it does strip it so that's why i always follow up with my moisturizer shampoo when i use this i use this first get my hair clean and then i'll follow up with this because this one right here puts that moisture right back into my hair from where this one stripped it but i like to use this when my hair is like really really dirty or i use a lot of products i'll go in with this shampoo that way i know i'm going to get it clean so as of now this is my favorite um clarifying shampoo now when it comes to conditioners well you all know i don't use conditioners anymore to detangle my hair i go ahead and do that now after i am rinsing my shampoo off for the very last time but when i was using conditioners to detangle my hair this right here was my favorite shampoo i mean not shampoo this right here was my favorite uh, conditioner to detangle my hair and it's the Aussie Mega Moist Conditioner y'all this stuff is amazing like the slip on this conditioner right here is awesome I was able to detangle my hair with ease and I had been trying to find me a conditioner that was going to detangle very well after I watched one of Kimberly Sherelle's videos and she made mention of this uh, conditioner right here and she used it to detangle and she kept bragging about how good it was, I finally brought it, gave it a try, and uh, yeah, I love this. So it is about down here, right there, if you see where my finger is, that's where this is at. It goes to show you just how much I like this stuff. This is awesome for detangling your hair. The slip on this is awesome. and. It's also moisturizing on top of that. Now for my deep conditioners, my favorite deep conditioner, you guys, is the Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask from Shea Moisture. I love me some Shea Moisture, y'all. <laughs> but yes, this right here, I love, 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 love this deep conditioner. This deep conditioner right here is so moisturizing to my hair. Like... I be wanting to use other products to do my uh, deep conditions with sometimes, but I always find myself grabbing this one. I love this. And it has like a, to me, it has like a smoky scent. I don't know. Not smoky in a bad way, but I mean, I can't explain it. I already told y'all I'm not good with scents. But anyways, I love this right here because this stuff is so moisturizing to my hair. Like, it's just... I don't know it's awesome I can't explain it but it's awesome I love it this is my favorite deep conditioner 
after that one my next favorite deep conditioner is the Mish indulge moisturizing deep conditioner this stuff right here is Mish is just moisturizing in general like I love Mish products but the deep conditioner I definitely like to use this one when I am using a protein deep conditioner I'll mix the Mish with it because it's so moisturizing and not only that y'all Mish products smell good to me they smell like candy and I just oh my gosh your hair is moisturized and it smells good at the same time so yes very moisturizing love to mix it with my deep um my protein deep conditioners um i just i love it all right so when it comes to my leave-ins my very first favorite leave-in is mish you should have known already the mish lavish leave-in conditioner like I just said, Mish is moisturizing in general. So this is my all time favorite leave-in conditioner because it moisturizes my hair. Like, and it smells good, just like the deep conditioner. And this stuff right here, a little bit of this goes a long, long way. So when I first used it, I did too much and I had so much product in my hair, I kind of had to, you know, squeeze some of it out. So I've learned a little bit of this goes a long way. But I have been using it it's like down here. So yeah, I love this stuff, y'all. All right, so after Mish, my next favorite leave-in is the Camille Rose Natural Curl Love Moisture Milk. Before I got my hands on Mish and tried Mish for the first time, this was my favorite. You know, if you've been following me for a minute, this right here was my favorite. I love this stuff. This also smells good. It puts me, puts me in the mind of cupcakes or cake batter or something. This is down here. It's almost gone. So, yeah, it's about time for me to buy some more of this. But it smells good and it's also moisturizing. And, of course, that's what I need most is moisture. Um, try to keep my hair moisturized so I do a lot of my products are more moisture based than they are protein um, don't really need a lot of protein my hair is pretty strong but yeah moisture in my hair can dry out really fast so that's why I stick with a lot of moisturizing products but yes this right here is my next favorite leave-in after me so I'm either going for me or I am going for my moisture milk now when it comes to my stylers I'm pretty sure half of you can already guess what my number one favorite styler is. Go ahead and tell me. I'll give you a minute. That's right. Shea Moisture's Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Y'all already know. This has been my number one since I did the big chop. I've told y'all that multiple times. This is this is it for me. I have not found a product yet that I like better than Shea Moisture. When I'm doing my wash and goes, my favorite combo, you know, I like to grab Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I love this stuff. It smells good. It's very moisturizing. Also, a little bit of this goes a long way as well. But yes, yeah, this is my number one styler. You all know I've said many a times I had to, you know, try to try new stuff i had to leave my shea moisture alone for a little bit because i was hooked but i had to try some new things but yeah this is always my go-to when i want to do a wash and go that i know it's going to come out bomb with no problems at all shea moisture i have never done a wash and go with this right here that has not turned out good no matter what gel i mix it with it has always come out good so yes number one favorite styler all right so after that one, my next favorite styler is the Diva Curl Super Stretch Coconut Curl Elongator. This right here is my next favorite styler. Um, when I tr first tried this for the very first time, I fell in love. Not only does this smell good, it's also moisturizing. And for this to be a cream, you guys, it has a it has a good hold on it. When I did that wash and go with this and I think it was my blue wet line extreme gel I can't remember but I did not expect this cream to do such an awesome job for my wash and go I was in love with that wash and go like I don't know I can't explain it but I love the way it smells it's almost gone I think I can't see it but anyways I gotta buy me some more it is expensive but it's worth every penny I love this stuff 
So this is my next favorite styler after my um, coconut hibiscus curl enhancing smoothing. All right, you guys. So for the last but not least is my gels and you already know what my favorite gel is and that is my blue line blue line <laughs> my wet line extreme blue gel i love this stuff you guys i really really do like i did not think i could love a gel so much and i really do i love this gel now before i started using this one you already know my favorite gel was the Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel. Like I may mention, everybody was had them switched and started using this. I was still using this, but then I finally decided to try the Wet Line, and I fell in love. So now I like the Wet Line actually more than I like Eco uh, Style Gel. Um, but I still love my Eco Style Gel. I will still grab this gel right here when I'm doing my washing goes and. I know Eco Style has a lot of different gels, but the olive oil is my favorite one. I just love it because it's very moisturizing for a gel. And I love this. This gel does not dry my hair out at all, nor does it flake on my hair. So this is my second favorite gel. And Wet Line is my first. Wet Line on my hair is also moisturizing. It also does not flake. So yeah, these two gels right here, they my favorite. I love them. I'm either going for this one or I am going for this one when I do my wash and goes. But it's mainly this one. But that is all I have, you guys. Um, like I said, I do have more favorite products out of you know each category, but I'm not trying to do in-depth favorites right now. I just wanted to show you all what my favorites have been for 2019. Um, next year come 2020 I will actually do a week of favorites and show you more of what I like to use but that's all I have for right now um, you know we got the new year coming in so a lot of great things are going to be happening it's one thing that I am specifically excited about you guys and I cannot wait to share it with you so make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you have your notifications turned on because you don't want to miss it I'm telling you I am so excited and I cannot wait to let you all know but anyways that is all I have for this video um next week is Christmas of course I won't have another video until after Christmas so I am going to wish you guys a Merry Christmas right now I hope you all have a wonderful safe Christmas enjoy your holidays if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you don't like this video give it a thumbs up anyways I will make sure I put um, all of these products down in the description box below if you have any questions or comments for me leave them down below in the comment section and that's all I have once again you all have a very Merry Christmas and I will see you next week and as always you guys thanks for watching my videos bye